to deleverage its stressed balance sheet, Tata Steel has signed a letter of intent to sell its long products business in Europe to Graybull Capital. Nigel D'Souza is joining in with the details. Nigel, uh, we know that the company tried doing this earlier as well, but it couldn't go through. And now they've signed this intentional uh, negotiation letter with a new uh, potential investor. What impact could this have? Well, that's right. Tower Steel is looking to sell uh, the long products business in Europe to Graybull uh, Capital. Now, this is the second attempt uh, that they're making. The first time around they attempted it was in October 2014. That time they were trying to strike a deal with the Clash Group, which was eventually called off in August uh, 2014. Now, I'll give you some details with regard to the unit they're going to sell. It's known as a Scuntrop unit, and in fact, it has a capacity of around 4.5 million tons. Though, as per F515 sales, the number was only around 2.2 million tons, telling us that the capacity utilization at that particular unit has been less than 50%. If they manage to sell this unit, it helps them in a couple of ways. One being deleveraging their balance sheet, and the second factor being that it'll help them uh, in terms of profitability because long products business has been delivering negative margins. So they managed to sell this unit, then it'll help the entire consolidated operating margins as well. UBS did come out with a note. They have a target price of around 330 rupees with a buy rating on the stock. They said that uh, if, the, if they manage to, to close the deal at around 500 million pounds, which is as per what reports indicate, then it'll be a positive though they face various issues in terms of their flat product business as well because profitability of there has been falling. Nonetheless, the stock was excited in today's trade. Yes, it was excited, uh, uh, Nigel. Thanks a lot for that. Globally